I even found, about two weeks ago, five tiny baby little mice. But sadly, one of the babies has died. Let's go see the rats. Look, one of them's out right now. Let's look it up. Oh, he just went inside of the hut. We have got to make their food for the day. This will be enough food right there, but let's just th honestly throw the rest in there for them. So we're just gonna put the food right on in here, right where they can get it. We're gonna open it in three, two, one. Here we go. What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope all of you guys are having just an absolutely amazing day. Now for today's video, well guys, if you have been watching the channel, you will know that I have been dealing with a rat infestation here on my preserve. We've trapped rats, we've set traps, and I even found about two weeks ago, five tiny baby little mice. I actually took the babies over to my friends where she actually had a mother rat. We put the babies and the baby started nursing. But sadly, one of the babies has died. Guys, if you want to see the baby, where he is now, what exactly happened to him, well guys, you are in the right place. But before I show all of you the baby mice, show you how they're doing, well guys, we've actually got to go around and check the traps once again. One hour later. Well guys, we are back at ground zero for our rat infestation. If you guys watched the last video, you will know that there was a ton of rat poop inside of the sloth enclosure, and I've been dealing with rats actually raiding their food, stealing all the food that's meant for the sloth. So I've actually been setting some traps. All right, look at this. This trap has been set off. This trap right here is actually meant for mice. I've been setting them off, but we are actually dealing with large rats. So how you set the trap is you just actually click it in place. You set the bait inside, and then when there's any pressure, the trap snaps shut. But I don't think that these traps are quite strong enough for the rats that we have. That's why we've got the bigger traps. This one, I'm not even setting that one. That one's just been living in here, but look. Both of these traps have not been set off, and because it rained last night, all the bait is gone. So you can see these traps are much bigger, they're much deadlier, and when a rat goes in, they snap shut. Well, I've got both of these traps right here, and look, being the sloth is here. Bean is happy and coming to say thank you for getting rid of the rats. The rats are stealing all my carrots, and well, Bean, we're gonna try to trap some more, all right, buddy? All right, come here, give me a kiss. Give your dad a kiss, come here, come here. Bean is such a good boy, and we're gonna open these traps right here. Guys, the traps are set. We've just gotta come back and put the baits in, but we're gonna put that trap right there, and I'm thinking right here. So hopefully, if we bait the traps and the rats actually come and smell the food, hopefully they'll go in the trap. But I may have actually got all the rats out of here because this morning when I looked in, well guys, there was no rat poop. Now not only have I set some traps for rats, I've actually set these fly traps right here because I have so many flies right now. If you look in the bag, look at all that black stuff. These are all flies that are in the trap. We probably trapped over a hundred flies so far. There's actually one trapped in here. The flies are really nasty. They create maggots, they bother the animals. So we've been setting these little fly traps up and they're actually doing a great job. They're catching hundreds of flies, but now we have to check the trap by Simon. Simon is my rescued finger monkey. How you doing, Simon? Did we get anything last night, man? Did we get anything, Simon? Simon, they stole the bait again. So whatever rats are living inside of the barn, they're actually super smart. They've been able to outsmart me with the baits and they've actually every night stolen the baits and not actually gotten trapped. As you can see, they've just done actually a pretty good job. Only one of the nights we actually had remnants of a rat here, we had rat fur. But the rats live in the rafters. As you can see, the rafters are a highway for the rats and they run from side to side and they run around stealing food from the birds, from Simon, and well, I think all of the animals. So far, we actually have caught no rats, which is actually a good sign. In the sloth enclosure, the traps were not set off and there was no rat poop, which makes me believe that the water from the rain gutter washed out the bait and we are rat free over there because normally every night, the floor is covered in rat poop. Over by Simon, I think we're dealing with the smart rat and then now we have our last trap to check. I put the trap in between the turtle ponds right here because I was finding rat poop around the turtle pond. Any leftover pellets that were here, I was finding that the rats were actually eating, so we're gonna come over here to this trap. We're coming, we're going. Oh my gosh. Look at this, guys, we caught something. Now, we didn't catch a rat, but look at this. We caught an invasive agama lizard right here. This guy must have wandered into the trap and got caught. This is another invasive species we have here in South Florida. These lizards right here actually come from Africa and it's become an invasive species here due to the pet trade. So I literally have 
thousands of them roaming on my property. Well, this trap definitely does the job. Even though it didn't catch a rat, it caught an invasive species. So guys, it's starting to pour rain right now. So without further ado, guys, I'm gonna show you the footage of when I found the dead mouse. The rain has stopped and the little mice are right over here. I'm gonna get to show you them now again. Unfortunately, some of them have passed away. Rocco, what are you doing? Rocco, come here, come on, buddy. Rocco is investigating the mice. He wants to be best friends with them, but I'm not sure if the mice wanna be his friend. So we've had a couple of the mice pass away. I'm gonna show you the remaining ones that we have. They've gotten big. We put them with my friend's breeder female rat. But before I show you them, well, we have got to make their food for the day. So basically what we got in here is we have got some high quality rat kibble, some good stuff right there. And then we've also got a little bit of apple. Now the apple's healthy for them and it also gives them a source of hydration because the apples have water in them. If the rats are a little dehydrated, they can get hydrated with these little pieces right here. So honestly, there's only a couple of these guys left. So I'm thinking that this will be enough food right there, but let's just th honestly throw the rest in there for them. They might be a little bit hungry today. They love eating their pellets. They love eating the fruit. I've got the food in and we're just gonna mix the fruit around with the pellet so it's a nice even mixture in there. And I think that that looks absolutely amazing. Guys, should we try a piece of this? Guys, let me know down below. Should we try some? And maybe I'll do it in the next video, but let's go see the rats. Look, one of them's out right now. Let's look up. Oh, he just went inside of the hut. One of them just came out right now. Let's see if we can actually feed him by hand right now. Let's see if we can feed him, see if one of them wants to come out. So we're trying to see if the one guy wants to actually come out for some food. He might be a little bit scared. So this is where I have him now that I got him back. We got him set up in this little bin. Super simple, easy to clean. So we're just going to put the food right on in here, right where they can get it. And we're going to stack up some of the substrate so they can easily get to the food. And let's see, guys. Now, I'm not going to tell you how many are actually in here that are left. So, guys, comment down below how many you think are in there. And I'm going to tell you right now. We're going to give it a second. And, all right, you guys commented down below your answers. Now, I'm going to tell you right now. One, two, three. There is two of the mice left. They're in here. We're going to open it up right now. There's two mice left. And we're going to open it in three, two, one. Here we go. Oh no. Okay, there's one here. But I think that, oh no. Guys, this is not good at all. One of them has sadly passed away. It looks like there's only one left remaining. You wanna come here, buddy? Oh no. What happened to your brother, buddy? Was he not strong enough? Come here, buddy. Come here, let's lift you up. Here, you want some food? Let's see if he wants some. Here, try that. Try it, try it. Here you go, buddy. Hey buddy, you want some food? You sniffing your food? Guys, I think he's absolutely loving the food. Is that some good stuff? Come here, buddy. I just want to say hi to you. How are you doing, buddy? How are you doing? Look at this little guy. He's just kind of cruising along on my arm. Now this guy's really quick and he'll run. Now I don't want to keep him too high up. Here you go, buddy. Plop on down. There you go, bud. Now he looks like he's doing well. He's nice and active. He's healthy. I mean, look at this little guy go. He's got just a ton of energy, just a really cool little mouse right here. We don't have a name for him yet, guys. Comment down below a name for this mouse. I'm thinking his name should be Ricky. I think that's a good name, guys, but let me know down below. He looks like he's doing good, but let's get back to his, his younger brother. Hi there, guy. Look at this. He must have just passed away recently. It is just so sad to see all of the poor mice pass away, except this guy. There was five when we started, but now we are down to one lone survivor. And even just having one survivor is an incredible story, just considering these guys were so tiny when we found them. I'm so sorry that this happened, buddy. I am so sorry. Well, I seriously hate to see this poor mice like this, but there's only one thing left to do. We're gonna give this guy a proper burial. One minute, 37 seconds later. Well, we're out in the grove now. I've got the poor mice that has passed away and we are going to find a burial spot. So I'm thinking right over here is gonna be a good spot. So I'm just gonna put him aside right here. And I'm thinking right here in this nice soft ground, guys, I think that this right here is where it's going to be. I've dug the hole and I think that this is going to be the perfect burial place for this poor mouse. It doesn't need to be too deep because the mouse is so small. So we're just gonna place him right here inside of the hole. And now we're just gonna dig some, some of this dirt right here and we're going to cover him and bury him. There you go, buddy. You have your final resting place. And that, my friends, is going to end today's episode. I hope all of you guys did enjoy watching today's video, despite having one of these poor mice pass away. Guys, we still have a rat infestation here. We are battling the fight every single day. So guys, if you enjoyed today's video, again, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below a prayer for that little mice. So guys, if you are not subscribed yet, you wanna see us trap more mice, you wanna see tigers, lions, turtles, and tortoises, and all kinds of crazy animals, but guys, you are in the right place, and all you gotta do is hit the subscribe button and tap that little notification bell. And you all be notified whenever I post.